I got a little bit lucky. Then so I have got an offer. Didn't he? <laughs> uh, okay. Literally. Um, no. No. <laughs> no. Now, Ron. Ron. <laughs> Ghosted is powered by Ghost Kitchens. Order from over 20 food brands and get everything in one delivery, like Quiznos and Cinnabon. Visit Uber Eats, Skip the Dishes, and DoorDash for a Ghost Kitchen location near so you. let's talk to Ron. Ron uh, is, seems like a really good guy. Went on a date with somebody named Leah, yeah. and things went well, right, Ron? Yeah, I mean, actually, we've been kind of seeing each other off and on since about, like, the middle of February oh, this okay. year. All right. And, uh, yeah, like, we met on Hinge, and it's been, you know, kind of slow, a lot of talking on FaceTime. Uh, we started going out on dates every week or two. And so the last time I saw her, I'm trying to figure out what happened. I can't I can't really put it all together. We had we had dinner. We had outside dinner on a patio. You know, uh, I got a little bit lucky. Uh, dropped her home. Everything seemed, like, perfectly normal, uh, same as usual. But since then, so I haven't heard from her. didn't he? D- okay. Literally. Um, no! No! <laughs> Now, Ron, Ron, is there anything I on this know. date that makes you think, hey, that's a good reason to go with somebody? No, no. It all was perfectly normal, and we've been talking to each other for so long. I thought it was, like, way past that stage, and I, I, I just... I just want to know if I did something wrong, what it was, and maybe get a second chance. I really, I really like her, and I, I would like a second chance if possible. How was your performance that evening? Because it sounds like you got ghosted after you guys hooked up. I mean, you know, uh, serviceable to good, I'd say. You know, yeah. I'm not a star or nothing, but I do, I do my duty. That's where the bar is uh, set, huh? Uh, serviceable? <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly the best you can hope for. Uh, uh, serviceable. Okay, so okay. Uh, we want to find out if Ron did anything wrong. A. Wrong. Oh, yeah, I tried. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> ah, that should have ended on the one. All right, yeah, right. Yeah. listen, <laughs> Ron. High. Listen, we're gonna give you a shout. We're gonna give uh, Leah a shout next, and we're gonna find out what happened if we can. Okay. And I got a great email there. So. Yeah. Hi, this is Leah. Hi there, looking Leah. It is uh, Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. Sorry, I'm not used to people Smooth. saying their name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Leah, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Uh, we're from 99.9 Virgin Radio. Yeah. Just thought it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, listen. I, I, I'm. We're calling for you, um, and we're calling about a ghosting in your neighborhood. Okay. It's actually it was you. You ghosted somebody named Ron. Yeah. And we were mm-hmm. wondering if we could find out a little bit about that. Okay. So you're calling about me ghosting the man who thought it would be a great idea to give my six-year-old son washer fluid as a gift. Yeah, actually, we are calling about that. That's the guy. What? <laughs> uh, is that I, a thing? What happened? I was just trying to be nice to your kid, and it was all I had in my car. Oh, my God. Is that Ron? It is Ron. Ron's been listening the whole time. Ron, you he didn't... was supposed to stay listening. <laughs> this is Ron and it up. Yes. I'm sorry. I just I got nervous. My bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, okay. So, trying to hide now? Leah, Leah, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, can you tell us what's going on here? Yeah, like... I, Ron and I started dating. We had gone out a couple times, and he was nice enough the last time we got together to give me a ride to my sister's place uh, to pick up my son. And I don't drive, so he gave me a ride. It was his first time ever meeting my kid, um, but I figured it was going to be controlled. So everything was normal. We picked up my son. Uh, we got dropped back at my place, said goodbyes. And then I get in the house, I'm taking Jacob's things out of his backpack, and he has a full bottle of washer fluid. That's really sketchy. And I was like, yeah, what? <laughs> and he looks at me and he says, Stepdaddy Ron gave it to me. Okay, that's also weird. Right? Yeah. So at some point, while I'm talking to my sister, getting my stuff from the trunk, whatever, what? Ron decided to give my son a little gift and tell him to call you stepdaddy? Like, Ron. how could you expect me to want to talk to you ever again? One, you are not my son's stepfather. Two, the audacity. Yep. And three, washer fluid? Like, what were you thinking? Ron. Okay. So, I think those are three pretty legitimate you know questions. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't know. Have you ever been alone in a car with a kid that you've never met before? Like, if you don't no. know. <laughs> I, that is not a question I would ask out of this context. Do you want to try again? Uh, so Okay, so just by your answer, you're acknowledging that's an awkward situation. And, you know, sure. I don't know uh, anything about Pokemon or whatever the kids are into these days. So, like. Uh, I, I'm reduced to talking about what's in the car, and uh, you know, the, I got a jug of uh, fluid right there. No. The kid's like, "Can I have some of your Kool Aid?" I'm like, "No, no. listen, Ron. not for consumption, Ron. child, Ron. but you can have it, sure." And then when the kid asked me, "Are you my new daddy?" and I'm like, "Let's dial it back to maybe stepdaddy for now." That's on me. Like, what? What? <sighs> come on, Ron. I've dated women with kids before, and you, this is so everything's wrong, Ron. I know it's Ron, confusing to you know what they're cool into. You didn't play cool at all. Yeah. And it, you might not know if it's Pokemon, and that's fine, but it's definitely not yeah. cool. Into me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, you... you're also leaving out the fact that I wrote in big letters on the front in Sharpie, do not drink, so the kid knew not to drink it. You know, like, uh, uh, the stuff doesn't expire. When he gets a car, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be good to go. Assuming, that's a fair point. I'm uh, assuming he can read. Um, yeah. Do you guys have all the information you need? Because I think we might. Yeah. <laughs> um, so here's the deal. We were going to ask if you wanted to and connect for a now. second date. No, yeah, no. I I'm know, sorry. Yeah. Maybe right. he can meet somebody in the aisle at the auto parts store or something. Hey. Uh, yeah, you blew it, Ron. Okay. Leah, thank you for your time. We really appreciate it this morning. Thank you. Leah That's is... a shame. I was going to give the kid an oil filter on the next day. I... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Ron, you seem like you got a good sense of humor, but you're a bit misguided, my friend. Giving somebody, I do believe washer fluid is poisonous as yeah. well. 100%. Uh, yes. Now, Are we just have... addressing this the, now? The kid proof <laughs> opening on it, but it does look like blue juice. And it's yeah. just weird, Ron. Yeah. I... yeah. That's weird. That's a Ron... weird flex, man. Ron, can Listen, I... That's your opinion. From my point of view, in my brief moment with this child, I in my brief moment with, that, with this fatherless child, I taught him something okay, about car you, care. Okay, <laughs> you, right. you don't know. Well, Never mind. Ron, let's go. <laughs> okay. Go on. Have a good one. <laughs> Take care, Ron. Okay. Ciao. Well, listen, uh, Ron, I, again, I do think you're a good guy. Here's what I would do after this. Take this. We're going to post it at Virgin Radio Toronto on Instagram. And don't look at the comments. Show it to no. five of your friends and ask them what their reaction would be. And then we'll, you know, uh, and then come back to us and, and tell us that you still feel the same way, okay? Okay, we'll do. All right, buddy. Best of luck, all right? God, Take Steve. care. Thanks, guys.